there are four rooms. There's the There's White House, where we just walked through. Okay. Oh, okay. The United Nations. Um, Okay. Uh, as far as the San Francisco, because yeah, so. okay. there's an attack in San Francisco, okay. and the, the mayor of the District of Columbia, because we have attacks inside the District of Columbia. So the students call, are calling for authorizations for whatever, which they have to respond to. Obviously, there's total unclarity and, and ambiguity as to what's happening, okay. which is exactly the way it really is in real yes. life. I've got Twitters coming in. People are 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 calling me. I'm like, just swamped with information here. Like, do we, we request that you know we launch ground troops. Is can I confirm that the White House is being Hello? evacuated? I mean, it's just not. Stopping. You're speaking to the Prime Minister of Israel. Do you want to speak to? Wait, do you, would you like to speak to the head of the Israeli Sec General Security Services? That would be the head of our. That would be our head of the Israeli um, General Security Services. If you hang on half a second, I'll patch you through. Okay. Patching, patching. Uh, good afternoon. Yes. We've grabbed some actors and we've simulated like a news news environment and done some interviews and that sort of thing. So that's how they're getting that information. Is these kind of two or three minute uh, uh, news clips. These guys here have, been, have prepared a number of dummy newscasts um, with reporters, and then they're constantly feeding them additional information. Some of it is misinformation, disinformation. And the students have to be able to try to understand what's what and make decisions based on that. Your knowledge of this intelligence comes from speaking with the office of the prime minister, is that correct? Just See, that's the thing, it's just because it's on the news, exactly. there's no lots of misleading crap here. Sources report hundreds killed as two ferries in San Francisco Bay explode. No terrorist organizations claim responsibility. Mass panic in the streets near the harbor. No, it was heading from London to Boston and was reported missing over the Atlantic. Yeah, I mean, where do people go to get information during emergencies? Well, they're, they're, they're going to the web. Can someone be in charge of constantly refreshing these websites so we know what's going on? Okay, uh, I posted the press release on Facebook as well as sending out an email to everyone uh, regarding citizen instructions, what needs to happen. What we're doing currently to uh, to help people uh, on the site is uh, um, we have we have uh, dispatched all of our uh, medical personnel and all of our emergency responders. We've also contacted the uh, federal government and have had them activate several of their emergency medical responders to uh, to help as well. We've had a, a number of press conferences with the mayor of San Francisco, the mayor of the District of Columbia, with the Secretary General of the United Nations, the Vice President of the United States, and with the Press Secretary of the United States by introducing press conferences. It forces the students not only to think about what they're confronting, but to articulate that and to try to articulate a policy based on, on legal issues that they've learned during the course of the semester. Did you check before you whisk these people off to see if they were Israeli citizens? Uh, to be honest with you, uh, I was not aware when they were whisked off, and that's not to, to shirk any responsibility, obviously. Well, where did the buck stop on that? No, I, I, and I, I'm just saying. The, the question was, you know, how, how in the world could I allow that to happen? I was made aware of that after that happened. I was on a separate phone so call with you, the... You, 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 the United States regret the action? Yeah. I'm sorry? Does the United States regret the action? Uh, the United States uh, does not regret the action, absolutely not. Uh, the United States has reason to believe that these people were involved in attacking uh, our embassy, which is an interest of the United States within Israel. Uh, we believe that we are entitled to information that Israel is withholding from us at this time. Uh, in, involving these individuals and involving other sources uh, that, that have been involved in attacks on American soil. The press secretary indicated that they might be Israelis. Uh, we have reason to believe that they may be Israelis. That's correct. So how do you detain Israeli citizens? When the Israeli citizens were uh, within the, the confines of our compound uh, and we had uh, high-level sources who uh, uh, witnessed them participating in an attack on our compound, that's how we detained them. They were detained at that time. We've been overwhelmed with the number of people who've been following the simulation worldwide. We received comments all day long from hundreds of people wherever in the United States or internationally who have followed the simulation, who have taken the time to comment on it. And I think that just shows a number of things. One, our ability to reach out to audiences that we have not reached out to previously. 
two, people's willingness and interest in interacting with us, and three, the extraordinary timeliness of this simulation exercise.